up, everybody? Jimmy McNally here with another tip of the week. And what I want to do is I want to show you how you can take a blank um, eblast template, make some content, and be able to send it out to your sphere um, pretty quickly. So to do this, what we're going to need to do is go over here to Moxie Engage and go to Campaigns. Now, an eblast, just so you know, is basically a campaign that is sent one time. So once you send it out, it goes archived. You can still track to see if anybody opened it and all that good stuff, but it's very, very similar. So there's a few steps that we have to take to make this work. First thing is you're going to go to eblasts. Second step is add from library. You'll need to do this every time. In this case, this is my blank template for our agents. Okay. So we have a blank eblast template. So if somebody wants to make their own eblast to be able to send out, they'll be able to do it. We're going to come over here and click add to campaign. So what we're doing is we're pulling that blank eblast into our campaigns, eblasts, and emails. You'll see this green box pop up says, it says that you got it. Awesome. Go ahead and click close. Now, next step is you're going to see this little green dot that says there's a new email here. So you're going to click on my emails. And you're going to come in here and you're going to see the first one that's going to be on there is going to be the test eblast, the one that we just, the one that we just pulled in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And what I'm doing now at this point is I'm going to actually create the content and, and set up the, the email or slash eblast to be able to go and send out. Okay. So this is basically step two. Um, in the step two, part A, we'll call it, is you need to change the name of the eblast. So I'm going to call this newsletter for November, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm going to call it, you know what? No, let's do holiday events. Holidays are coming, right? So we got holiday events. So I'm going to save that. Then next up, I'm going to go to edit setup. Now what this is going to do is allow me to put on the, um, the subject line of the email that's going to be sent out. Uh, this is what your clients or whoever your people in your sphere are going to see. You can preview text if you want to put something nice and call something out there. And then also you have, you can change if you have a header footer and signature. So first we're going to, when we get to this point is we're going to change the name of the email and then we're going to name the, change the subject line. And then we're going to hit save. Once that's done, now we get into building the actual email. So when you click edit email campaign, you're going to have a blank template that's set up here for you and you can pretty much do whatever you want. Feel free to change the template to something that's already been pre-done um, by Moxie for you to take a look at and just change it the way you want. You know, work smarter, not harder. But in this case, just for this training, I just want to show you how easy it can be. So in this case, I like to put everything in like JPEG or PNG when I'm sending emails out. You can definitely type. You can definitely copy and paste. I can do text, all those things there. But in this case, I've already made a um, basically made a newsletter. That, that really is just, it's not a newsletter. It's just, hey, this is what's happening, you know, um, in our South Shore location. So you can see I've already kind of put that in there. Um, I'm just going to leave it kind of like this and hit continue. So my content has been made. Now it is actually in here. You'll see. Okay, awesome. Next thing you want to make sure you do is send a test email just so you can see what it looks like on an email format to make sure that it does look good. This will go to whatever the email that you have set up for Moxie Engage, or you can change it and send it someone to take a look at it. And then we're going to hit save. So once this has been saved, so first step, eblast, pull in the blank one. Next one, we're going to that email, your emails, and we're actually making the content for the eblast. Now we're going to go back to your eblast section, and you will see that test eblast that we just downloaded a few minutes ago is going to be available for us. So the first thing when we get to this point is we're going to edit that name again. And so we are going to say holiday events. Save that. Next, we're going to go to recipients and we're going to add. You can add by group. You can add your entire contacts. You can search by one person. And that's what I'm going to do in this case. Mr. Keanu Reeves here. We're going to hit add and then save. Now you'll see here that the campaign has already been, it's already there for me. It's ready to go. So I've changed the name. We already know what it's going to look like. And then all I'm going to do is click send campaign. Now with an e-blast, one of the things that happens, and this is the same thing with campaigns, is they're not, in this case, it's all going to go out one time because it's only one email. But if you're sending out multiple, multiple to multiple people, it could take all day for the emails to go out. I've noticed some that have gone out first thing in the morning, some in the afternoon, and some in the in the late evenings, depending on how many people you have set up. And one of the reasons being we use G Suite and G Suite does not, they do not want to send out everything at one time because it could actually blacklist us and then we can't do it anymore. 
But as you can see now, now that we're back to the eBlast section, if I go to archived, because it go, it, once it goes out, you can see here that it has been archived and it will take a few moments for this to load up. It'll tell you how many people actually it was sent to. In this case, it was just one. I'll actually be able to see if anybody opened it, if anybody clicked or anything unsubscribe. And that's how you can take a blank eBlast template that your broker has made for you and send out an eBlast whenever you would like.